Sports Awards with uh, major winner for t tonight, uh, Arrow International Sportsman of the Year, and also Brian Perry Supreme Award for Sporting Excellence to Eric Murray, rower Eric Murray. Look at him; he's very happy. Uh, now, Eric, what do these awards mean to you? Uh, they are a real judge of character. I feel that a lot of people see the achievement that I've created. Um, and they've justified it as being one of the greatest achievements by a sportsman uh, in the Waikato region. And for me, it's really humbling to be able to receive this award. Uh, I just go out there to be a sports person and to do the best that I can um, and to be recognised by my peers as being uh, the best sports person in the Waikato um, is just a, is a great achievement. You don't go out there every day thinking, I really want to win so I can be sports person of the year. Um, you go out to do it for your own achievements. Um, and then at the end of the year, these things just top, thing, uh, top it off. Um, and it's just great to see the people that are, that are winning um, and even nominated for the junior sports categories. Um, and you see them come through to be able to take uh, the sportsman categories and supreme categories in years to come. So, you know, just looking at the young talent that's out there today, uh, it's amazing. And I wish them all the best of luck and I hope that they go down the path of where they want to go and what they want to achieve and give it everything they've got. Were there big differences between the Lake Karapiro and, uh, and overseas regattas? Um, Lake Karapiro was a once in a lifetime event. To be able to compete on your home water is something that really, um, was really massive for us. It was 32 years since they competed in New Zealand and I say it'll be about another 32. And to have, to have big Olympic sporting events holding their World Championships in New Zealand will become far and few between um, just because of the cost that's involved in doing it. So for us it was really special to have the World Championships here. Um, it was just like any other World Championships where everybody's trying to get across that line first. Uh, but for us um, to have it here at Karapiro and to mainly have all our friends and family that supported us right through our younger days when we were struggling kids, um, you know, just moved out of home, ringing up mum and dad saying, give us some money, I've got no money, um, maybe spending it all on beer. Um, for all of these type of things, it was great to be able to have them here to watch us um, in New Zealand rather than having to travel all around the world to do it. It was just such an amazing, amazing event. And finally, what's ahead for 2012? 2012 holds the Olympics um, for us. It's a combination of four years' work uh, since the Beijing Olympics, where we were disappointed in our we were disappointed with our results, uh, and we've really worked on that to make sure that hopefully everything will go to plan this year. There's so many variables that you've got to take into account, but we've had a fantastic run over the last three years. We've gone unbeaten. We've been able to win three consecutive world titles, and we know that we've got a big target on our back. We know that there's people chasing us down, wanting to beat us, wanting to upset us, um, and we just have to make sure that when we go out training every single day, that every single stroke is as well as we can make it, because when it comes time to be on that start line in London, we're going to make sure that we've We've crossed every T, dotted every I, so that we are ready to do it. Thank you very much, Sherry.